I'm going to be honest. This is probably the most excited I've ever been to review a new, uh, not a new servant, a buff servant. Uh, lying in bed, doing what I've been lately and not doing YouTube stuff, just relaxing. Um, and then I see Mist, uh, and his thumbnail is she showed being buffed. I'm like, with, with the power mod skill icon, I'm like, there's no fucking way. She show has always been a mixed bag of opinions. Uh, with the introduction of break bar, she's fell off because she has a lot of one turn damage, like a lot. The quick up being one turn is not as big of a deal anymore with Cooler Riscotti. Uh, you're able to have like somewhat close to like her being fully buffed up like 100. Like the difference between 50 to zero quick is not the same difference of 180 versus 130. There's a very huge difference in how like a servant would perform if they already have a quick buff versus they don't. This is like all basic dimensional turns. You cannot say that same thing about power mods because power mods apply to all, all cards, including the MP. They scale with MP dam or they're in the same part of the damage equation as crit damage and MP damage, if I'm not mistaken. So having access to power mods more often just means their servant is going to do significantly more damage more consistently all right are you up to speed because i need like you have to understand that part to realize how ridiculous and why no one thought they would ever bu actually buff her uh or give her this specific buff especially because wu zetian is, is in the game if you don't think wu zetian is now like fully a support like if you didn't believe it before you better fucking believe it now is ain't no way anyone is gonna convince me that Wu Zetian is not not a support for Shisho or any other servant that does un undead shenanigans all right again this review is heavily biased because Shisho is one of my f it no not one of is my first SSR for FGO ever first GSSR Pick her, and I got Kishi Wong and Shisho. And yeah, Shisho. I didn't even realize it, but I had pictures of Shisho on my phone, and I didn't even realize it. I thought it was just an anime girl. But no, it was Shisho all along. She was the first fake character I had on my phone. All right, real talk. Base attack, it is slightly below average but not by that much. The average is around 11.5K. She's only slightly below. This is not where an issue lies. HP, ridiculously high. Like, considering like she's this below average for attack and then her HP is way on the higher end. Like the highest end for SSRs is like 18,000 and then the second highest is like 16 something thousand. So her being like just below 15K, Again, really good base stats. Star gen, star weight, normal answer stuff. MP charge 0.71%. The hit counts have always been an issue with her. Before Mighty Chains, the best way to refund with her was ABB. I'm not joking. That was her best chain, ABB. Her refund, her hit counts on her buster cards and her base gain were so goddamn high that she act like she actually benefited more from an arts card lead than Buster Quick Art. But this is before Mighty Chains. Mighty Chains, now you want to do B, like you want B as early in the chain as possible. No, 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 no. If you're MPing, you want it as early in the chain as possible. If you're not MPing and you're focused on refund, B is going first because these two can definitely refund a lot of MP for her. And then to top it all off, a seven hit extra attack when this is not gimped at like 0.3, when she's a Lancer that has higher than average star gen compared to other servants. 
her upstairs has always looked fantastic it was always her skills that were like what the fuck she is carried like not on the level of jack the ripper of how she is actually carried by her like how good her um base stats are she show there were all, there was always some like finagling you had to do of whether or not uh you were gonna have a good time with her like you had to like fully build for her but she has always been solid this little annoying but for me like i always seem to land the crit damage like it's the like i always seem to forget that there's star weight on here and it's always like crit damage land but 80 percent chance for crit damage 80 percent chance for star weight and then a full turn of evasion where the image goes up percent and the star weight goes up to 100 uh 500 i am not someone that is going to push for this skill to be buffed there are ways you can force this to be 100 percent, but a lot of the time it kind of doesn't matter uh especially when her quick supports give so much crit damage you're, you don't really care about it th that much and also with ruler scotty flooding the field with stars even when she shows extremely low hit mp is not a problem with ruler scotty you have battery you have star bombs on the battery and then you have stars per turn and then it's also a quick unit so if you're still hurting for stars using shisho with double ruler scotty maybe rosettians thrown in there somehow i don't know um you're you're probably doing something wrong if you're hurting for stars that you actually need the star weight crit damage yeah bit of a loss but having consistent power mods and already getting crit damage from your supports this isn't as important as it should be i do want this eventually to get buffed but after this ridiculous one i'm not asking for them to buff the show again i don't think they're going to do it i think this buff is like we're not doing we're not touching her again so this skill uh again it counters this part she already had it in her kit the issue is it's also tied to a battery but 50 percent quick up for one turn 20 percent buff success rate tied with the targeted this is targeted by the way so if you really want to use shisho for support i guess you can it's just it is a waste it is an actual waste to use our only as a support but it is 50 quick up buff success chance at a targeted 20 battery solid skill good for multi-core but i don't think you should be using her for multi-core like this uh so you could ignore everything i said here about not being able to secure this you are it's just you can't you can't be going for the highest damage turn and also get a hundred percent quick on this like you have to make the choice i'm glad they have i'm glad they have this option but it's like it, it's it's not on the level of shikuchi for me for how messed up i think that buff is for how it should actually function but i mean like this it does fix the, the big problem she had because before it was just a one turn quick buff, quick buff that still was targeted this was her skill originally a hundred percent damage mod against divinity and undead people pretty much nixed nixed the undead part because no servant would ever be undead but summer seven came around and literally everything changed this changed everything for shisho because her np forces people to have the undead trait i'm 90 percent sure people can't resist a trait being put on them i could definitely be wrong about that but i could have sworn traits do not count as debuffs so people can't really resist them thus shisho as a way to activate this power mod no matter what doesn't matter that they're a servant all Uzetian has to do 
is land her MP. All you have to do is give her a case code. Easy. Divine is way more common than undead. So you put well, Zetian on, and now you have an easy 200% power mod on a divine servant. But this all lasted for one turn. So doing a setup with Wu Zetian definitely required a lot more esports, and you really couldn't take advantage of Wu's uh, the rest of her kit. What I need, mean by Wu Zetian needing to be esports is that this skill doesn't really affect she shows damage that much. Back buff, nice. Buster buff, nice. I beat Jen doesn't affect damage, but always nice to have. Second skill, it's a drain, but is not tied to enemy being undead. You give the entire party a power mod against undead for three turns. Only 30%, but it's still something, and it is three turns. And then a 20 battery. Third skill, it stuns on all undead enemies. So unless you need this skill for the plans and the heal, you don't really need this skill for esports. Thus, level 40 out of 50 for Wuzetian. Preferably all both these skills maxed out. But for an esports unit, I know that's asking a lot because you already have to have the other unit. You have to have the other version of this character, the non esports one, maxed out. Although uh, the difference between a 20 power mod and a 30 isn't that high, especially when a character already has 200% power mod, just saying. But not having this battery only being 10 is sad. But also for unironically for she show uh, setups, she has her mana loading she has her second skill. So she's at 40, you pop this, she's at 50. So they're not wasting charge. If you want to drop like a 50 battery from summer she show or og she show you're still gonna hit 100 but you do have to kind of be aware like if when you're gonna be wasting charge don't feel bad about it just get the mping and doing damage don't worry about micromanaging charge when she show just literally got a buff that gives her charge for just landing hits in general them buffing this to three turns was the buff everyone knew Shisho needed, but we didn't think they would actually give this to her because of how disgustingly broken this is that you can abuse all three, like all of this, you can abuse all the effects now. If Wu Zetian wasn't in the game, I could see them have doing this buff maybe a year sooner. I could see them have doing this buff during the arcade collab, but I think Wu Zetian was just too new of a servant that they wanted to test the waters, see how, like probably see if anyone actually is even using Wu Zetian and Shisho. And when they found like people probably weren't even doing it that often, it was like, yeah, this this isn't gonna be abused that much. Let, let's just do it. Shit, like. Let's not hinder one character because another character exists. This is probably the highest damage increasing skill in the entire game, barring Oberon's third skill, where he doubles MP damage. And even still, we are talking about you having Black Rail. You have to have Black Rail if you want Oberon's third skill to be a higher buffer, I believe. Doesn't, I don't think it has to be MOB because of the Buster buff, but if you're not, if it's not a Buster servant, then it definitely needs to be MOB Black Row. And then as a cherry on top, every time she attacks, like the Tanta, she will get 20 battery instead of the 10 he has. Like I said, originally when she came out, her best MP gain chain was Arts Buster Buster, and then followed by extra attack. This makes it so her buster card actually gen MP outside of the of the weird shit. So in a mighty chain, MP buster arts, you are going to see one hell of a refund. 
I would not be surprised if you actually did refund your entire MP. Because that would be MP, Buster, Arts, Extra wouldn't get this benefit. Same issue that uh, Abuki has, but it's nowhere near as big of a difference. I'm not asking for an 80% battery for Shisho for just using a mining chain. Not asking that, by the way. But this, you will get 60 just from MP Buster Arts. Arts crits, that's probably 100%. And then Buster card will clean up anything else. And then extra attack, you're definitely over 100 by that point. If they did fun buffs like this more often, more servants would be talked about in the meta. Like, they, they don't do buffs as often as they should because it doesn't really make them that much more money unless the buff is good. So that's the incentive to make the buffs good. But that cr itself creates an issue where now your power, you're starting to power creep. But we're buffing units that have already been power craft. So what's the issue? That's that's my reasoning for this. I I am always hesitant that a game is ever going to like actually do power creep. I know it happens naturally. I know it's part of the game. But I think like them releasing a new servant to uh, get more money. I see that differently than them going back and giving an old servant a ridiculously broken buff because then it gets people to summon on the new character rather than hey you love this character we're, let's show her, show her some love i don't think this is a bad thing i don't think this is gonna completely break the game she show is not that broken of a servant uh that we're super worried about it the reason dante's got the hypey what he did was because of how good his actual refund was and the fact that he had a good healthy battery to eat it he like he was doubling tripling down on what made like a good like dps stall servant like kama like using kama as the base instead of shisho she only has magic resist a which might surprise a lot of people they would for how op shisho is in lore you would think she has divinity no she doesn't that is part of the lore she was su such a fucking badass that she literally did not become literally couldn't become a human anymore she killed so many gods she killed so many demons that no it, you couldn't be human she could not be human That's how busted she show is. That's why, that's why she is, she is the true Grand Lancer. She is true Grand Lancer. The only reason she probably doesn't qualify for Grand Lancer is because in normal circumstances, she shouldn't be dead. Uh, but yeah, she, she definitely has that kind of power. It's just like, she is, she is definitely held back more by the servant container more than most other servants like if you're from the age of gods and you're in a servant container you're more likely to not like a lot weaker than when you were alive uh pens extra attack big one for a dps like this is a fantastic extra attack you are just gonna make it even better mana loading not the biggest deal it just makes our setups a little easier and different supports can be used uh like they're lowering the restriction for like barrier to entry to like get her going anti-lancer it makes sense she kicks um ku's ass like literally across the training grounds then tells him to get up after literally stabbing him in the leg hitting him to the ground i could like i could see that like i could just see that whole dynamic why are you not giving getting up ku don't you see we're still trading you stab me into into the gr you pin me into the ground how the fuck am i supposed to get up that sounds like a personal problem get up before i pin you again like some dumb shit like that like ku ku i think is definitely suffering from what he said when he was a kid i, I he show may have forgiven him but she definitely did not forget 
rip coup unfortunate all right mp this is this has never been her best selling part this is really good 500 percent stun i hyped this up on dante's i had a feeling i knew shisho had this the thing is shisho can't loop with her mp dante's can that's the fucking difference it's not because like the effect is so much is so broken because it's on dante's no actually that is the thing it is broken because it's on dante's for shisho she hits really 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 fucking hard but then can't get back to her mp to do it again that that has always been the issue and then her oc and skill doesn't work half the time so, uh servant oc1 4.5 percent chance even oc5 it's 7.5 Like, fuck's sake. Like, you can't rely on insta-kill. If this was defense down, we would not be having this conversation. Her MP would be uh, awesome. It was like 30 MP uh, defense down. What the fuck? I would like, I wouldn't have even buffed this skill at that point. Because that would have been overkill. Because with double caster, Scotty, you would have been hitting like, uh, like 90% defense down up like possibly even higher so sucks they gave her a useless effect when, when it's not useless cool but most of the time this is a useless effect also bunny she show yes 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 all right leveling her i'm not gonna lie she, like she needs so much of the common shit like this is this looks pure year one bullshit first leveling skills on jp i still am stuck at 888 because i do not have i need so many of these like ridiculous in the amount bon ce 15 percent quick performance to the party while she's on the field definitely not worth using over literally any other ce say black rail uh literally any starting charge ce that would help she show in any way like a lady even for his like for better mp gain make her like already good step even better is she show a servant someone should be trying to summon for now in the current day and age with Draco on currently on raid up. Fuck no. Like I think Shisho is a great prize for GSSRs. If you have to try and summon for Shisho during a Draco raid up, you should not be summoning for Shisho. Shisho shows up significantly more often or any kind of banner than you are ev ever see for Draco. Draco, they don't put her on GSSRs. This is literally her second raid up. I don't think we're gonna get another Draco banner anytime soon. So if you don't have her or you wanna push Draco to like MP2 or higher, you need to be summoning for her right now. Summoning for Shisho at this current time just isn't smart. Pull for a GSSR. Wait for another time for Shisho. She is a fantastic servant. If you have her, you are eating so fucking good. You are eating so good. Any divine boss, divine archers, which there are a lot of archers that have divinity. Biggest one being Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is a fucking joke with Shisho now. He is going to get clapped like he always should lore accurately. Lore accurately, um, she shouldn't even be weak to Enuma Ailish. Legitimately, I like. I think it's only because a prototype of Gay Bulk would be in his uh, armory. That's why I think she would be weak to Enuma Ailish. But she's star attribute, and a lot of the servants that are weak to Enuma Ailish, um also have the star attribute or 
exist outside of humanity. Um, like their lore, it's e like a lot of these servants. I feel Shisho should have been on this list. I, I, even though Shisho is a Lancer and it's like beyond overkill, I feel she should be on this list. She fits the criteria, but it might just be because you'll get like a prototype of Gaybolg is in, is probably in the gates of Babylon. I love this character so much. Shisho is literally like, she is a servant I resonate so well with. I wish I, it's part of the reason I like Quick so much because Scotty is using Shisho's body. That's definitely a big part of it. But also, Quick is a good part of it. Anyway, I had to really get up early, take a shower, all that when I'm used to reading in the morning. I needed to get this out today. There, there was no waiting for me. I need to get this video out. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.